guess uh, it becomes about trying to put back-to-backs together now, hey, and just establishing some level of consistency. What's the pathway to that, do you think? Uh, just following it up. Obviously, uh, obviously, it's an exciting win outdoors. Uh, you know, Battle of Alberta is a, a good way to get yourself back in the win column. Um, but you got to follow it up. Like I said, you know, uh, like you said, we haven't had a good start, and we've got to start stringing them together. What did you like about that game that you guys can build on? Um, I thought um, I thought we just looked a little faster. I thought uh, everybody skated well. I thought the work was there, tracking back. Um, like we didn't spend too much time in our D zone, and, and uh, you know that's always a good sign for our group. You guys scored some goals. I guess it would be considered ugly or mucky, like throwing a puck to the net, going to the net. I guess is that kind of what helps to kind of get things going? Is you got to score, score those simple goals sometimes. Yeah, scoring some goals is uh, is a recipe for success. And obviously we we, uh, we threw a lot of pucks at the net. We put some bodies there, and um, you know we're rewarded with some bounces. And you know I feel like we hadn't had those. Uh, you know, kind of all year, so it was good to see those go in. Uh, what's, the, sorry, go ahead, what's the value of having a guy like Sam gone year round? Uh, you know, obviously just his, his, his veteran presence. You know, he's uh, he's a guy that um, been around a long time. He's seen a lot of things in this league, and and uh, just a calming calming presence to have around. I don't know if you saw a month ago Connor Brown on his Instagram story he called him Papa Oiler. Is that an appropriate <laughs> nickname? <laughs> Seems that way. It's his third third time around. Um, you know, I know all the staff love him. Obviously, he got you know he's I've had him. I've been his teammate before. He's a great teammate. So. I'm um, happy to see him back and, and, uh, and healthy and, and playing in the NHL. Speaking of Connor Brown, everyone said that it was going to take him a while to kind of get going because he missed the entire yep. year with the knee injury. Is that what's happening here right now? You, you yeah, I think uh, I think you can see really good signs in this game. He's getting chances, he's generating chances. Um, just that uh, that timing, um, it's always the last piece that kind of... Uh, Kind of falls back into place. Um, you know, you can get your body feeling good. You can do everything you can to to feel good out there. But you know, that timing is uh, it just takes a little bit of uh, of repetition to get that back. And, and I think you're starting to see that. You guys saw firsthand last year with Evander and the injury he took. How you know, skate blades and cuts and stuff can be. Boy, you want to grab that, Tommy? <laughs> Oh, sorry, Avery. I fail. <laughs> you, you guys saw that firsthand, the way that can go, and obviously a really, really tough incident in the game here this last week. There's lots of discussions about, you know, neck protectors and cup protection and such. You know, as a player who plays the game at a high speed, just maybe your thoughts on, you know, if, if the game is maybe moving in that direction. Well, first and foremost, um, you know, we're thinking about uh, Adam's uh, family, um, you know, and all of his all of his loved ones and, and um, you know, such a tragic incident, um, you know, but the game is so fast out there. The game is uh, unpredictable at times and, and uh, no matter how smart or well prepared or how many years you've been playing the game, you know, random things happen and, and um, you know, we obviously saw it last year with Evander. I mean, these cuts are, are really scary. I think you're seeing a lot of cut proof gear um, come into play. Um, you know, whether or not you see something around the neck, I don't, I don't know. Um, but, um, you know, really scary. But I know our, our, sorry, I know, you know, after Vander's instant talking to our medical staff, you know, and they're prepared to handle just about every situation on the ice. And, uh, you know, we put a lot of faith in those guys and know that, uh, you know, they can, they can handle just about anything. Those injuries are rare, obviously, but they can be catastrophic. <coughs> is, it a, is it more of a comfort thing for a lot of guys that it's just bulky and, and cumbersome to have extra equipment on? Do you think? In terms of the neck guard, is yeah, that what you're asking? Yeah, and like even wrists and, and, and ankle. Like yeah, I mean, things. obviously, comfort yeah. comfort yeah. is is important, um, but it's also comfortable to know that you're protected. Um, you know, that's that can, that can bring a big comfort to guys. Um, you know, I think it's personal preference for everybody. Um, you know, I see lots of guys. If I have some guys, see some guys who who don't wear much at all. Um, you know, it's all it's all choice. Um, with that being said, I, I you know I think, like I said, it's a really fast game. These things happen, um, but I know that our, our our staff and everybody is uh, is well equipped to to handle you know pretty much all situations.